Hello, my name is Bobby. Today we're going to be building a barn board wall. First things first, make sure you bring your barn boards that you're going to use inside your home to climatize properly. I put them in my basement. It's a little damper down here, but it's still dry and it still will do the trick. Uh, you're going to want to give yourself 24 to 48 hours minimum for this process. I would say at least 48 hours. Now what I've done is I've used a wire brush with the longer bristles to actually scuff the boards. Uh, this gets right into the wood grain, pops everything up to the surface, that way they're nice and clean. Now you may be wondering why we have this turquoise color on the background. The reason I did this is because it's a mist tint and it's dark enough when I actually put the Marathane diamond finish interior on here, it's going to look much darker as you'll see later in the video. So this will blend in. If there's any expansion or contraction, you're going to see this behind it. If not, you're going to see whatever you have behind the wall. So if you ended up with a white wall behind, you're going to see white spots speckled everywhere or different colors amongst your beautiful barn board wall. Now, I might get 45 edges because this is the way I want to do it. Now, what you can do if you want to is uh, cut it straight and then put a flat piece on. The reason I wanted to miter this is so that all my flat pieces go into it as completely different looks so that you can actually see what it's doing. As you can see with barn board and all the knots, when it's really old and dry, things crack. So I will be putting this on like so. Now you want the paint to cure, that way the glue is going to have something proper to hold on to. It means give it at least a good day, depending on what the cans of paint says. There we go. Make sure it's enough so that it actually touches the board. Be generous with it, because it's what's going to be eventually holding it on full time. Stay in there, Maddie. You can see I already cracked the edges here. A little bit over, but there's no perfection when it comes to these barn boards. Now these barn boards, they don't have to be specifically from a barn. Everyone thinks that old reclaimed barn boards are from barns. They can also be from fences. You'll notice that some of the clips in this video are not wearing my safety glasses. Bad idea. Always wear your safety equipment. It's there for a reason. Alright, now occasionally you're going to come across boards that are split. I mean, it might seem like common sense, but it doesn't hurt to show you what I do, and it doesn't hurt to remember to do it. So, if you see it, if it's like this, it'll pinch it down. Never point the gun at yourself. I should be wearing glasses. I will never cover an outlet like this without a plate. But underneath, I ended up taking the wires off. They're dead wires. Capped them. So we're just going to go over top. Enough so. Now what I'm going to do is show you the consistency of the glue that I'm sticking on here. So to stay consistent, don't take your time on it. It's just, you know, just enough to make sure it holds. And you're going to be tacking it in to help it along too. I always like to add a little extra on the end. What I didn't mention before was when I put through the uh, border around my doorway here, I made sure I found the thickest boards that I had. That way everything else goes up to it will either be flush or under flush. You know what I mean. You can see here, that's a thinner board, so it's under flush, under flush, but it's better than sticking out past. Alright, I'm going to show you how I stick it on. Like I say, it's all simple. 
but it never hurts. That's one of my biggest pet peeves is no one ever shows you the little details. They show you the finished product. Okay. Now this one's bending down a little bit, so now I know I'm tight. Use some strength. You usually don't stick that many in when holding a bag, right? Well, every foot, I stick three. Every foot, a foot and a half. I started at the top with a full board, that way when you're looking at it aesthetically it's even all the way down. At the bottom, you may have to rip it to make it fit. So we're just going to be putting the last board on the wall before we get to stain it. Perfect time to run out of glue. That's more than enough. diamond finish. I use this because it has a hard finish that will prevent any damage. As you can see it goes on white but it does turn into a hard clear finish when I'm done. Don't put a light coat on it. I don't want to do two coats on it so I'm taking my time in each little area as you can see. And I know there's a nice thick layer. Now that the stain is dried, you'll see it turned out beautifully. You got your hard finish, your consistent look, it's perfect. Don't be afraid if there's a window on your wall. There's nothing saying that a feature wall has to be windowless. Uh, as you see, this one I've done a couple weeks ago, it turned out beautifully. When you're building your own barn wood wall, remember that it's your wall. There's nothing set in stone. You can personalize it any which way you'd like. Oh, yeah. Nice. My name is Bobby. My name is Bobby. <laughs> Bobby, you suck. <laughs>